In this video, we show you how to improve your trade exits, your trade targets, and get a much better understanding of your trading strategy. Let's take a look at a theoretical example. Let's assume we're entering a buy trade here. This is our entry price. This is the stop loss price. And this is our take profit price. If you're using one of our trade importers to import the bulk of your trades, then for the most part, this will be done automatically for you. However, in Edgewonk, you wanna make sure to double check the stop loss and the take profit price. Those need to be the initial stop loss and take profit values. Not all of the trading platforms unfortunately provide the initial stop loss and take profit price. So make sure you have them entered here. Then later when the trade is closed, in this case, the price would have hit your take profit order. You can keep observing the price action. For example, you can come back at the end of the day, at the end of the week or after a specific period. Then you wanna take note of the highest price that you can observe and also the lowest price of your trade duration. You can see this is where we entered. This is the lowest price that we have observed after the entry. And then this is the highest price. In your Edgewonk trading journal, you open the trade and then under advanced trade data, under general trade data, you enter the highest and the lowest price points. This will unlock a few very important and helpful metrics in your Edgewonk trading journal. First, we can go to the chart lab and then here under exit analysis, you'll get this very helpful graph. Each bar with the red and the green bars represents one trade. And we're taking a look here at the most far right. This is the trade that we have entered. This is this trade. The horizontal green line is your take profit level. The red horizontal line is your stop loss level. The green bar tells you how much has the price moved in your favor. And the red bar shows you how much has the price moved against your trade. The black marker that we can see here is where you have taken the exit. In this example, because the trader used a fixed take profit order and the price hit the take profit order, the black marker is right at the take profit level. The green bar exceeds the horizontal green line because the price after hitting the take profit order would have kept going. The red bar is pretty small and doesn't even come close to the stop loss as we can see here when we take a look at the price action. After the entry, the price only moved a little bit against your trade before then turning around and going into your favor. When we hover over this horizontal bar for the trade, we get a few more important metrics. We call them the updraw, the drawdown and the R multiple. The updraw refers to the green bar. If the updraw would show 100%, it would have meant that the price after hitting 100% of your take profit target, it wouldn't have kept going. In this case, we can see the updraw is 181%, which means that the price exceeded your take profit level and kept going. You almost could have realized a target or a profit that was twice the size of your anticipated target. The drawdown of negative 39% shows you that the price didn't even come halfway towards your stop loss. If the price would have hit your stop loss, the drawdown would be minus 100%. This is a very interesting insight into your trading. And you can also find out more about your updrawn drawdown when you go to your trade analytics and then you scroll to the right and then you can see here two columns called average drawdown and average updraw. Those are the aggregated updraw and drawdown for all of your trades. In this case, we added the ordering criteria for trade setups so that Edgewonk breaks down your trading performance by the specific setups. And then you can see, for example, here on your breakout trades, when we follow here this horizontal row, you can see your average updraw is 181% which means that you could theoretically leave your trades open for longer because it seems like your targets are not set optimally and after the market is hitting your take profit order, the market would have kept going in most of the cases on average. Another interesting insight can be when you see a very low drawdown because as we have learned, a low drawdown shows that the market is not able to come close to your stop loss. Maybe you're a little bit too conservative with your stop loss and by reducing your stop loss size, you could have improved your reward to risk ratio. So by adding the highest and the lowest price data, in addition to your stop loss and your take profit values, you will unlock the updraw and the drawdown. You can find them in the trade analytics, also in the exit analysis graph. And those metrics offer you a lot of new insights into your trading performance and help you optimize your trading approach.